everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this AC port plug on my 2017 Dodge Promaster. Let me show you how I did it. What you're going to need for this project is the plug. I got this off of Amazon and I got the one with the 18 inch cord on it. If you were going to do this project, definitely get a longer uh, plug on it, the longer cord on it. If you can get the six foot cord, that'd be great. Um, the eight, the 18 inch cord that I got, I think that's what this is. It just didn't quite go up and inside. And so I had to do a little modification, but that's okay. And the other thing you're gonna need for this project is a hole saw. It, the instructions say a two inch and I didn't have a two inch, but I had a um, two and an eighth inch and that worked perfectly. You're also gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver uh, to install the screws in. That's all you're gonna need, let's get going. Today I'm going to be using the AC port plug by NOCO, the GCP1. Here's the box that it came in. It actually didn't come with any instructions. There's kind of instructions here on the bottom of the box, um, but there's really not much to this. It's basically just an extension cord uh, with, here's your three point plug in, and it comes with a gasket and I'm gonna mount that just about right there. Before I get started, I wanted you to know that this is a reflector, this is not a light. Um, if you reach down your hand right below the bumper, you can reach up and you can actually feel that reflector so there's no wires running through here so you don't have to worry about bumping into anything. This is hole number three that I'm poking in the van. You have two choices when threading your outlet cord into the van. Uh, one is there is a, um, a vent there and that's one of those vents that when you slam the door there's a little puff of air that comes out. From there you can pull that little rubber thing off and cut a little hole in it and put your plug through it. That's one option. And then the second option that you have is if you come down here below the bumper so here's that cavity right here uh, that goes up to that uh, reflector. And right here is a, a little opening. There it is, okay. So, and, and you can feed the cord through it in there and then go around on the inside of your van and pull it through. So that, that other vent, you have to really take this piece of plastic off in order to get to it. And I guess you can, there's, there's those star-shaped things right there, and this doesn't look like it would be too awfully hard to get to if you wanted to go that route. But I think I'm gonna go in just right through here, through this plug hole. And for those of you who are new to Van, uh, the ProMaster, there's one of these plug holes on either side uh, below the tail lights right here on the, on the van. See that came out right out through there. So that's going to fit in there just fine. Um, I mean, you could put some sealant on here, but there's really nothing in this plastic that needs to be sealed off. This, these screws come with self-tapping, so it doesn't matter if you're going into the side of your van or if you're going into um, if you're going into you know, like a panel or here or wood or whatever, they're self-tamping screws, so they'll get you there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna position this. Oh, that looks real nice. All right, that feels nice and sturdy. It's upright. I like that plug. That's a good plug. That is a good plug, okay. Now that we've got this secured in, I'm gonna pull it in through the inside. Okay, so we have the cord hanging out here. We have the hole in here. I went and got a hanger which I um, bent up. I got a little helper today. This is Miss Kitty. 
Hey, sweet pea. Okay. So the bad news is, is when you get the 18 inch cord, it literally won't come up. It doesn't come in here, go down through the, the receptacle, this receptacle and go back and go back inside there. Just, this isn't long enough to do that. So I have a power strip inside and I'm going to just go ahead and seal these two cords together after I made sure that everything worked. What I can here, pushing that up inside. So we got it all done. It's all hooked up. It's all screwed in. Uh, I've got shore power hooked up to it. And here's what my setup looks like for bringing shore power into the van. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking extension cords to the front um, so that we will have access to the AC power. The rest of the van will be DC. I have this little electric oil heater, so I'm not, so if it's cold outside, we'll be able to run and we have shore power. We'll be able to run this little electric heater off of that and uh, we'll not have to worry about uh, CO2 or anything in the van. So yay, one more hole in the van though. <laughs> <laughs>